What is up, Flock? Phoenix Lily here, and welcome back to... Oh, well, not welcome back. Welcome to a Phoenix play. Today we're going to be playing Lake. And if I do like the game, it's probably going to be turned into a series because it looks like it's going to be an interesting game. I don't know. I've heard, I've heard mixed reactions. So, yeah, let's do this. Let's go ahead and hop into a new game. Uh, I'm not quite sure what it's about. Um, PJs was telling me, like, you deliver packages or something like that. So we, we'll see. We'll see. Just got to wait for it to load in. Doop-a-doo. 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 Dum-ba-dum. 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 Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
He's all right. So my, difficult, my right? seat. I think I should be able to face the challenge. <laughs> I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. I left here from Massachusetts 22 years ago. Shouldn't you get a job Jeez. in computers then? <clears throat> That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm... Uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. This is a tutorial on what this game's gonna be. If this is like a mail truck simulator, this is pretty intense graphic-wise and storyline-wise. Do 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 do. Mail's here. No answer. I'm calling it a day. Hold shift to walk. Okay, so we did walk a little bit faster. All right. You're getting the hang of it. So. Where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. <laughs> Bookkeeping. <laughs> I always make a mess of my tax Well, returns. Can't a computer do have, that for uh, me? Sure, there are programs for that. But you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. Awkward silence. It's her house. Ah, there's no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. Roger that, Frank. Adios. Yeah, I saw it. Walk to the front door of the house. Nice house. Oh, it's your parents' house. Gotcha. White's residence. Monday afternoon. Beep. Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. The Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh one more thing. The freezer's stuffed with food and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. Meredith, so it's Steve. Oh, I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Shut up, Steve. Don't get too used to it. Shut Just up, Steve. Kidding. Or am I? Shut up, Steve. Uh, I'll talk to you Shut later. <laughs> Shut up, Steve. So I'm confused. I guess she's house sitting for her parents. They're down Tuesday, September second morning. Good morning, Meredith. Ready for your first day? Heck yeah. Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mail bag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin in case you get lost. Thanks, I'll probably need that. Bon voyage! Bon voyage! Oh, great. I'm guessing we have to deliver a package here. Main Street. Two oh seven Main Street. Two oh seven Main Street. There, I don't see any addresses here. So I'm 
something tells me it's in there. Yep, something tells me it's right here. The general store. Hey there, miss. Can I help you? Hello, here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago, back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. You do? It's best not to feel bad about it. Only a few people ever really make it. Wow, wow. I wonder if it's gonna rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. This woman has no idea. No idea at all. Hop in the mail truck. I could have just walked, but I didn't. 103, my neighbor. I remember this as the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. Are we going to get commentary on your whole life, lady? I feel like, I feel like you're going to have a comment at every freaking stop about you remembering this and that. Truck doesn't have any lights. We're gonna have to take off for that. <gasps> it's a fox. Oh, no horn. Stan's Diner. Wait, it's called Moe's Diner now? I told you she's gonna have a comment about everything. Where are we at? 500 Lake Road. Five hundred Lake Road, and here we go. Do 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 Welcome to Moe's Meredith Wise? As I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my. A few lines Hennessy. here and there. And the occasional gray hair. But by gosh, it's you, all right? Wow. Maureen. Long time no see. I feel so old. Jeez. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here. Tell me everything. Uh. But, Maureen, I do have work to do. I know you're busy, huh? Little Bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. News goes around pretty quickly around here. So, coffee? Something stronger? I warn you, I will not take no for an answer. You will if I say you will. Coffee sounds good. Thanks. Two coffee. Coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. Aww. You had one almost she remembers. every afternoon after school at one point. Oh, you know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry pie. Oh, and Ashley, uh, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm gonna take my break now. You're a real trooper. What the 
<laughs> Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary. What are you doing? Oh, is everything okay, hon? Oh, Lord have mercy. Sal. <laughs> Maybe you should check that out. Honestly! First the roof and now this? Oh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. Okay, now I wonder if like, uh, if you change your story, if it actually, like you, like the, the storyline changes compared to your choices. That'd be cool. Back to where we came from. Down this road. Is that tree floating? That tree is floating. No, no it's not. Just the bottom wasn't rendered in. That's weird. Welcome to Moe! I delivered these packages. So I guess I'm the town I'm mammon. Actually enjoying this. Yeah, it's actually pretty uh pretty relaxing. I don't say that. Ah, the mighty Ambrose River. You know, let's go ahead and We'll, we'll park on the side street here. Because we're right back to back here. We'll go to deliver the letter here first, and then we'll come back, grab the package, and drop it off to the next place. 104. I'm guessing it's 103. 102. Yep, seems like it's going to be 102 here. Deliver that. Ooh, interesting. All up in these people's business. What's wrong with you, Meredith? You little nose box. So I'm guessing that's going to be 200. Yep, 200. All right. Open it up. What we got in here? Two hundred. Pick it up. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. Oh, so adorable. Let's go ring the bell. <gasps> it's a cat. The cat's gonna attack me. Watch. I bet. I bet this cat's gonna attack. It just looks like it's gonna attack. Oh, there's a, <gasps> there's a kitty laying in the yard too. So, oh, there's one on the roof. What the heck? All right. Let's ring this bell. Ding dong. Oh, look, Genevieve, a new mailman. Hello Woman, there. Person. What's your name then? Mail carrier. Hi, Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course. You're Emily's girl, aren't you? Yeah. This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. 22 years to be exact, but... I'm too astounding. nice. <laughs> Has it been that long? That's almost oh, two Genevieves ago. Chase. Calm down, Genevieve. You're going to live forever. She isn't, but... Shh. You what the hell, lady? You remember me, don't you? How could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins? And her cats, of course. Seems like they've multiplied. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? Like Genevieve here, and Thomas, and Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then?
Yes, ma'am. I think it's a toy bear. I mean, it's shaped like one and feels plushy. Someone must think you need another animal in your life. <laughs> Bit of a nosy posy, aren't you? Oh, Jesus I Christ, Jacob. would never feel up the packages. I apologize. I didn't mean to pry, Too Mr. nice. Evans. I should let this woman have it. Well, it's probably another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. Hmm. That's what he says. That's probably what you say to poor Emily, too. Jeez. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. Yo, this crazy cat lady is about to get decked. No, she ain't talking mad ish to me like that. Next time I'll throw your package in the goddamn the, the, the lake. The mean old hag. Yep, yeah, I hope, I hope the cat falls off the roof. In a few days, I won't even need that map. Tearing up my heart when I'm with you. Just when we are apart, I feel it too. And no matter That's lighter than I thought. Do, I feel the what is this person wearing? Hi there. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. Duh. I'm Meredith Weiss. I'll be delivering your mail for a while. And Frank just gave you the keys to the goose? The goose? Yes, your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori, I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Uh. Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in P.O. than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? All right. All right, I promise. Good. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Okay. Thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. Aw, oh, so sweet kid. Don't be be more like you and less like that cat lady. Oh, yeah, I don't have the music on, so you can't hear the radio. <laughs> Man, this one's way out here. Jeez. Let me think. Where was Bear Creek again? Right, Bear Creek, near the old lumber yard. This is my kind of set up here, jeez. They come all the way out here, like, get put up by the road? A rare sight for a secluded lumberjack? <laughs> yeah. Last time I saw a human being was about six years ago. <laughs> I am here to deliver mail, and I come in peace. I'm Meredith. Thank you. I'm Robert. 
I hope the peace will be everlasting. Let's see what's inside. Oh, what the... That doesn't sound good? Crap. That's what it sounds like. Bullcrap. Freshly baked, baked bullcrap. Bullcrap. Hey, the sound can't be worse than the smell. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I have to take a better look at this. Have a nice day. Jeez, I was just trying to be nice and strike up a conversation. I don't need to be rude. Back to the post office we go. In the goose. <gasps> oh! Does not like to turn to high speeds. Gotcha. I kind of wish you could, like, get an in first person camera view. They're working on that car. I don't see a, sp a speedometer anywhere, so I hope I'm doing the speed limit. Mm, beautiful. Beautiful view. Look at that. I'd love to live in one of these houses. Wake up every morning and get a view of the lake. Ooh. Goose does not like to turn. Okay, all right. Tuesday evening.